Hello, Malcolm. Hello, Sandy. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. We will load up Tristy. Um, commenter in the last video suggest, or they didn't suggest, but they said Libraria, because I said libraries everywhere, because we are building libraries everywhere, but I thought, you know, I probably will do another city in this game. It's still got a city in it for me, I think. At least. It's a pretty good game, and they may update it more. Um, so maybe we'll make a city called Libraria next, and really make it planned around libraries. Maybe have like a central core of libraries and stuff like that. Just gear up, s see if we can push happiness through the roof by stacking them too. That'll be an interesting experiment, I think. Now let's hope we don't have a nobody has access, somebody has no access one come up today. Alright, so where did we leave off? We didn't build up quite enough resources last time to really get rocking on building. We did get an absolute stack of peers in, which is nice. Gold's holding. Food is down, rather. Down, rather. I think I'm going to throw in a little farming back here. We're going to clear this sector and farm it. Oops. Pause up, that one's ready for farming. Oh, I might want an orchard on this mess. Oh, uh, I might want the road to come through. No, the road can come up behind this fortulation, I think. It'll probably work just fine. Yeah, actually, what we'll do is we'll take the road this way here. And then we'll pull it straight out to the farming zone at just cottage width have that as some utility space. And we could bring in the road from the other side or farm a little ways over. We'll think about that too. Yeah, why don't we knock down some more trees over this way. And we'll see about getting that road on through. So is this very fertile? No, it's medium. And that's very. And that's very. So we're going to end up losing some varies matter how we slice it, but we are gonna, what we're going to end up doing is pulling down this tower and bringing the road through, I think. That'll be where our crossroad takes place. We'll get her all figured out, and we will leave a copse of trees, because we're not evil. We just want to farm stuff, and I would like to get an orchard down. We haven't put one in for a while, so I think an orchardio, so let's grab one out. And doop doop doop, we're gonna need more granary edge. Well, yeah, food came back up to full. Oh look, they grew more trees on the land I want. Oh, maybe that's not actually the land I want. Oh, to bring the road through. Oh no, 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 we're bringing it through behind there. Okay, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get our orchard down right away here. Pop. That's nice. And we will clean all this out here. We'll leave a bit behind the hospital. That's scenic, you know? It's nice. We'll leave one beside the old castle wall. As well, but we're gonna start honking some farms in over here. Just in preparation for getting more people in here. It's a dragon. Yeah, we're gonna need these farms, so... Get those in and then we'll go see what happens with the old dragon. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Wow. Oh dear, oh dear. He, they just don't last. You know what I would love for the devs to do? Actually, I thought of this a while ago and I forgot to mention it, but I would really like it if they sent, like, a flight of dragons. If they sent a lot of dragons at once. I think that would super rule, basically. Um, I'm down too far away from our road, sire. Well, we'll fix that right now, then, shall we? Pop. Yeah, this is going to necessitate the builderation of some other defenses, for sure. But bringing the road through here makes perfect sense to my brain. Join it up. There. It's going to work just fine. But it does involve knocking that down. Not sure I'm ready to go ahead with that yet, but that should allow us to farm those unused spots. 
boss, so let's get on that right away. Uh, there, and there, and we got one more there that we might get, and one more there that we're going to get. And we're going to probably leave the rest of those trees alone, but... Yep, we got that one, let's get it in quick. And we'll get a greenery in on the other side of... What do you mean, blocked? Oh, I guess I already built one. Oh, and then I dropped my farm just when I needed it. Oh no, I guess we've got one going in there. Oh, it's this patch I'm thinking of. I knew there was one more. I really knew there was one more. I think we're going to need that food output pretty soon, so we're going to go ahead and get it. So let's get that food output. We'll worry about the granary in a bit. Uh, Malcolm suggested to me over uh, chat that um, the rats may be causing the plagues when I get an over it. He's saying when I get an overage of grain and it says rats eat it in the morning, it seems like plague follows after. That is cool, and I certainly didn't spot that, and I'm glad Malcolm did. That's really neat, I think. And that makes me think, yeah, this neighborhood's going to need a hospital. Well, we got two close by for now, but we got another one in somewhere. So, uh, we can't really tell our library splash radius. That's unfortunate. But we definitely don't have coverage over this way. So. Well, let's get some defenses up. Oh, we're going to need piers up to make defenses up, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We don't have quite the uh, positioning we want just yet. I mean, we almost do. I think I just want it a little further over. So, probably we can just use up, like, most of our frippin' resources. Have I got all the quarries open? Oh, look, I got a bunch of rock demolitions going on there. That's cool. Both these quarries are running. I don't think I closed any other ones. Let's take a look. Uh, quarries running. Whoa, skiddly boodly. So we've got stone output. The army's in the water again. Oh, guys. Um, okay, Sir Jean. Where's a good place? Like a town square or something? Well, Sir Jean Well, I really want them in the barracks, because I feel like then they can eat and stuff. So, yeah, they'll come back out of the water for me. They'll come back out of the water for me. Because, yeah, I, I feel like they can eat and stuff if they're in the barracks. Speaking of eating and stuff, I've got a bit of an upset stomach today. So, this episode might end up being short due to my not feeling too well. I've been... Uh, kind of waiting for my tummy to settle all day before I made the episode, and it's like, finally, it's just like, I need to make the episode, so here we are. <laughs> I may cut it short. We will see. I don't want to waste more on piers right now. We're just going to put a defense in on those piers once they're built. That's what we're going to do. In the meantime, we're going to bring that road through, even though it cost us. Even though it cost us, so... Uh, wait, I can't demolish it till I knock the archer block on it. Bam. And then we go... Tick, tang, tick, tang, tick, tang. That's really cool, the way that works. Demolish is one of the most fun functions in this game, I'm gonna say. Okay, so there's a bit of rotary. And it looks like we could get road link through here with just a weird hook behind the well. So we will, even though it's a super waste of space, but we're going to get road link like that. We're going to bring road over this way. I think this will be good. And we'll join it on here. Yup, I think that'll be sensible. Uh, we're going to need to build that fortification before we decide on any more road linkage, so... Yeah, we'll need to decide if we're going further out. Wow, stuff's still under repair from the last attack, eh? Check that out. Oh, look, it just got finished. That is cool. That is cool. Whoop, we got warnings up. That's probably them telling us we killed the dragon, I guess. Uh, grow more rats mm. eat. Good day and good day. Mm. So let's see if a plague follows on the rat eat morning. How interesting. Look, we've got a rather tall tower here that just could be gunned. Let's gun it. I mean, why waste that range capability? 
So yeah, we'll put another Bastion O Power over here. Great, it's built, so we're gonna go ahead and lump in a pretty big one. So we'll put it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and even way over here like this and like this. And then we'll build the core of it up with endless expense, basically. Take that up to max height, and then we'll start building the others around it. We're gonna run out of stuff pretty fast, I think. Oh no, what am I doing? Uh, no, I don't think I screwed up after all. I don't think I need the buffer blocks to be that high either. Oh, and the edge blocks have probably reached their maximum necessary height too, actually. So what's that? It's even, even, even. So we'll raise these center blocks up now, way up. And that should enable us to raise the back block way up as well. Uh, if we can find the back block in this pile of grid work. Now we'll bring that up to max height. And then we'll keep on doing the other ones. We'll make this a pretty big, mean tower. It'll have high and low capability. Bring that up to there, that's probably good. Oh no, did I screw up? I the other one taller by accident. No, I don't think I did. So that's fine. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this up one more. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this up one more. And uh, we've got an extra buffer block, really. But we'll just arm it. We'll just... No, maybe we shouldn't arm an extra buffer block. So I'd probably knock out that buffer block and raise this buffer block one. Like that. Providing stronger buffers with potential armament capacity. What's the height on these? Those are the low ones, so this needs a bit more needs to go up a couple or three. Right there. And oh, that's probably just about right actually. Let's just see. So that comes to there and oh fooey 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 fooey. Dropped it. That comes to there. I think it's probably even we'll leave it. It's probably even we'll leave it. There's our next defensive pod and we're gonna put a micro pod out behind this library. But we're going to now increase the size of our standard micropod, basically, to a larger and more dangerous item. And I don't know if we'll bother walling that edge or anything. We're just going to put the micropod in. Okay. And we're going to look around the rest of the edge and see if we need to gun up. Uh, agriculture took too long to store summer by winter, and they have been content. Uh, food has dropped again. We're not at max food storage very often, so maybe we won't really run into the rat thing very much. Uh, we do seem a little under defended over here. We do have a micro tower in there, so poking away. Uh, food is holding well enough. We're not going to stress yet trying to develop this new neighborhood is what we're doing and it's going to need all the fixings that a neighborhood needs. And we've got some space out here as well. Oh, decisions, decisions. Uh, I think we'd better f fix up the rest of the roads. Like this. Oh, no, no, no. Oops, no. Get that one out. Back the old roads. We'll fix up the old roads. We could have a manor right on the corner if we wanted. But we kind of want road linkage. So let's go ahead and just leave room for cottages here. That should be fine. We'll call that that road link. And we might bring this road out and link it as well this way. Make it like that. That'll work. 
And then we'll start getting wells poked in around the area too. Um, we can even farm one more chunk of land right here. I think we will without causing undue fuss and bother. Oh, and these roads could sort of stand to link, I guess. Yeah, I think, oh, they do. I made a dumb hook. I made a Dumbo hook to link them, so it'll do. Uh, so yeah, let's just throw one little farm down there to back us up a little. Always keep that food backed up. Well, that stockpile's not doing anything. It will eventually, though. There's stone and charcoal production near it. How's charcoal? Fine. Charcoal's good. So let's get our first guns onto this defensive tower here. Like that. And like that. Should we gun the other corners as well and make it just evil to attack it? Why not? We've got the mana and the gold. We're going to make it just evil to attack that. Okay, what's this? Too long to store, and they love me. Gold's holding. We might dent gold with these new weapons. That's, you know, we definitely need to expand our population. Let's take a look over where we were working yesterday. Have a look around. Ah, oh, it's looking pretty cool, actually. It's, you know, I'm no artist. I'm no artist, but I'm satisfied with the way it's come out. I think it's kind of swank. We've got our statue. There's another micro defense tower in here, you know. It's true. Look, there's a piece of useless road, right? But that'll block the treasury. So, uh, let's take out that piece of useless road. Or what? I mean, what is it there for? Hmm. They're very happy. I'm not raising taxes, you maniac. What's wrong with you? Mmm, that piece of road. People are actually using it to speed up their activities, which is just silly to hack. I do want a micro tower in here. Where can I fit one? Hey, empty. Oh, is that the last tree? Oh, I think that's... No, he's got one other tree. Hey, no, that's in the blacksmith. That's why it's not farmed. Oh yeah, we got another little piece of road there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put another micro tower in, just to keep the castle safe out. Oh, look, we could do the same thing over here. I think we better leave that for the forester. It was a funny noise. It might be crows. There's a bunch of crows outside, and I have a metal roof. So if they're frolicking upon my roof, it would that would explain the noise that I just enjoyed. It does look like the roads are sort of supposed to link there. I guess they're going to. Let's do it. Town road, and we'll take it right down the back of the market. That's handy. That'll work for people. Okay, now we need to think about wells. So let's grab a well. We need to get wells placed thoroughly and carefully around here. We can knock down a bit more of these fortifications right now. Or we could arm them and make them internal. Let's do both. Let's arm one and knock down another. So we'll arm that. And we'll knock down this. Free up a little space. So we got our little castle there still. We'll just leave it as it is for the moment. I got those archer towers up fast, that's kind of nice. So there's a library there, it'll splash to around, like, that's probably a safe bet, so. If I put another one here, it's probably a good place for it, so let's get one in. And it could do, could do, it can face that way, that's all good. And I was actually doing wells, so let's do wells. So look, well coverage endeth. Here. It's pretty bad actually, so let's get one in here. We got some weird space going on here, man. Hang on a second. Delete that well and get some road. We're gonna serve the back end of this with road. Like that. And that's gonna be great, so we'll get our well out and we'll probably put it here. 
that seems reasonable. And I think, how many squares we've got here? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So let's get a well in here. Let's put a well in. Two, three, four. So let's put a well in over here. a little close to another well, but we're going to live with that. Less fire, good. Less fire, good. We need another odd numbered spot. Or we need to chill on the wells. That is a few of them. Should help. Should help, should help. So we got one library rolling. Let's get another. We cannot tell our splash range at all, so that's a little annoying, frankly. Haha. <laughs> yeah, this won't splash all the way out to there, and this won't splash all the way out to there, so we are going to need one in here. So, what are we going to do here? Interesting question, eh? Uh, oh, we've got one right here. Oh my gosh. So we really, this is just this bare corner. So we can slip a baker in a tavern into that little corner probably. And we'll probably be okay. So we're almost library covered here. Uh, let's get one more in though. Let's see what we can do. Uh, over here? Well, again, that's not going to quite, quite reach. Eh? Disappointing. So we will go ahead and jam one in here. A dragon. Nice. And we will go ahead and jam one in over here. What? Oh, snap! Can I jump to problem? Thank you. Oh! Oh, look at the mess. Oh dear, kind of sad I missed seeing him come down and do that. What a mess. Oh my god. Okay, can I click my... Why is it still roaring? Is there more than one dragon? No, there's just an exclamation point. Now I have to jump back to the other problem. Okay. Charcoal maker rubble. Holy smokes, granary rubble, wow. Did he make a hole? The devil. Isn't that something? Uh, is there a quick key? Yeah, there is, it's Dell. Oh, it's Dell's way over there. Okay. Oh, that's much better. All right, well, we'll, do, we'll just replace everything because things were running smooth enough that we'll just replace everything the way it was. The dragon's still roaring. Because we're in pause, I think. So let's get our stockpile out. Uh, bonk. Bonk. And we'll get our granary out. Wow. That was big destruction, man. That was crazy. Okay. Fist for now. Wow. Kerblamo. That probably put a dent in food. Not too bad, though. Oh, okay. These guys. Too long to store, they love me, and we got them. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these guys now. Okay. Back to where we were working over here. Okay, we have dotted in and left libraries to make things work, basically. And we've left some dumb space behind a library, but uh, it's probably not a bad spot for a charcoal maker or something like that. Uh. Let's see what's in here. Looks like tools. Okay. People appear to be happy. And we've got space for another gun. Let's. Let's. This may start denting gold up, especially with the libraries as well. Let's. I think I'm going to have to move that library. Unfortunately. I put it in the wrong place. It'll just there. I'll have fine coverage. Oh, it doesn't look right there either. 
What is it that I really want from this corner? Productivity, functionality. Uh, what does a baker look like if I jam it in there? Does it have a proper entrance still? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, it's got a front entrance and seats out behind the library a little bit. Yeah, as long as the entrance is facing the road, you know, I'm down. And we're gonna bang in a charcoal maker back here somewhere. So we'll put him here. That leaves us with a ton of space. Um, small granary. Good, good. Yeah, put small granary up in there. Don't know how much farming's really taking place around here. Let's steal some land. Yeah, let's steal some land. Because uh, that bakery needs food to flow to it. And it needs charcoal to flow to it. And it does need the old grain to flow to it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some stupid road and waste the space with it like that. Hope it straightens itself out. Please don't build sideways, you big thingy. Well, I'll fix it if it does. And we're going to get out a small granary and slip it in right there. That'd be fine, too. And I don't think we've completely ruined that forester's world too much. Um, we could probably move that well in. So demolish that out, reinstall it uh, here. And we can take out this well and put a farm in its place because that's good land so let's farm it okay getting started here we've got space back there that's wasted um we may pull a road link to it in the end and expand though so we'll leave it alone instead of walling it off sorry having a little bunch of trouble all right and this was the area also selected for a tavern so let's get one in the tavern on the water side be very nice pleasant for everyone to visit Put that in is that the right way around i believe it is so that'll be nice for everyone and i don't know if one charcoal burner is going to be enough to feed this neighborhood but I'm not sure what else to put out back here, you know? Although we're well in library coverage, I can just start building houses anyway. I can move another well. Um, there's not much point. It's all a little confused right now. Well, let's slip in a couple cottages. Because the city is full. So yeah, if I shuffle off that well over there to somewhere else. I mean, do we have coverage? We do. I'm just going to demolicate that. Like, we're, we're overwhelmed. I went a little crazy. Let's get another cottage. And slip it in here. Oh, we get to get up our tower now. Let's get that done right away. That's kind of important. So we're going to go with the standard recipe of a pair of archers and a ballista on the beast. And this is going to start chewing to gold, I swear. Okay, let's get a ballista up high for those long shots. I wonder how far it can fire. Probably a long way. Probably a long way. So that's a pretty heavily armed little Death Star we've created there. Let's see what these guys have to say. Agriculture, too long to store, and the quarries have no place to store their stone. Well, that means it's time to build a ton of piers. They like my ruling. Let's build a ton of piers. Well, let's build some housing. So, we are really silly on wells. So, what we're... Like, I want housing everywhere, but I do kind of want a charcoal burner happening, too. So, yeah, I'm going to pull this well, and I'm going to move it, I think, over to here. Let's see about that, but maybe it'll even over. Oh, that's not a bad plan. Well here. Oh, goodness gracious. 
charcoal burner here. And small stockpile. Right here. And then we can get... Whoa, we're going to want to pull a road link through, aren't we? We're going to want to pull a road link through, so we're going to need another bloody one-spot item. There just aren't enough one-spot items. And that's frustrating, but we're going to slip the market in here. Uh, market. We'll have it face on that crossroad there, I guess. That seems like the best feed for it. Boy, there's imperfections to my design. That's for sure. We've got some issues where we're not using the space well. If I blew off this corner support tower, I could actually put a full granary or full stockpile in there. That might be a good idea. Ah, uh, that might not be a good idea. <laughs> There's also that. Uh, if I took that tavern back out, I can do these things and more. So, out comes the tavern. In goes a full granary or stockpile. Actually, forget it. Put the tavern back. I'm a fool. Now, that's exactly where the tavern goes, right next to the baker. That'll be lovely. What am I thinking? So, so let's just get ourselves a cottage in here. Oh, see, uh, we could pull road through. Okay, let's go build a ton of piers. Let's go build a ton of piers. Oh, I wasn't even planning to build out this corner. Hmm. Forget it. Let's put a cottage in and hope we haven't screwed everything up completely. So, town cottage right here. That's probably a bloody well right there, isn't it? What? Oh, is that a tavern? It's a well. What the heck? I don't know where it picked up tavern from there. That is a well, but here's a better place for one, I guess, eh? Nah, fine, fine, don't worry about it. We've got a cottage here, and then we've got a one dot that's no use, but maybe we'll haul junk out later and fix it, so let's not stress. Let's get some more housing up. So we'll get a manor in. Have it over here. Face it that way. Oh, blocked by the market. Ow. Diddly pop. Alright, we'll have a manor here. Pop it in. And then we've got a, this. I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream, because here's the market. So what are we going to do? Blow a road through here and put another well down? This is freaking madness. Maybe... Well, maybe this market should actually be... Uh, one up. Like that. And maybe it should have a feed road. So let's give it a feed road. Like so, like so, like so. And maybe we will put another charcoal... No, that's next to the thing, so. Okay, the complexities of life. I've got to tell you. We'll put a small stockpile there. That's a good one dot item to have. That'll be convenient for everything in the whole universe. I'm sure. Alright, let's keep building in some housing. I hope I got the library coverage right, eh? So let's bang in some let's start on. Let's bang in some cottages. Here. Here. And here. Nice. And I don't think we have any room for anything else here. We're all done. got that well coming there, that well coming there. That should be fun, so let's grab another manor. I could almost throw them a church, but with all these libraries, who needs churches? 
And that well right there could get replaced with a small granary right now, I think. Or if I pull it, I can move the mansions over. Oh, yeah, and that one's facing the wrong way. Actually, it is, so. Out comes the well. He goes the small granary. Or the full size granary. How about in goes the full size granary over here? No, just at the end of this road right here. In between the manors. We've got enough library coverage to choke a horse. We're gonna be fine. And it looks like we're gonna steal another little chunk of land, too. Oh, it's barren. What about this? Fertile. Alright, that will steal that. And we'll steal that. That'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Working, working, working. Town Manor. And let's zoom right in. Whoa, that's... Yeah, okay. That's a little tricky. That one faces that way. And... Pop. That one faces that way. That's looking pretty awesome. What's this? We've got room for a cottage. I was totally wrong. Let's get one. And there should be enough food production, food storage, all that stuff. Yeah, that's the right way around. To, uh... To feed this new development, I think. That should work. So we just got a nice row of stuff in. We'll put another manor in down here, I think. Now, just spin that around so it goes there. Hope we have library coverage. I wonder how much further out the piers can go there. I think we'll slip a small granary in instead, though. You know, we are short of granaries all the time, so that is the right way around. I hope it is. Oh, I hope it is. I think it is. Okay, that's awesome. We got that all rocking. I don't know if we really have enough defenses. But we're going to build some manors along here and see if they enjoy the old seaside benefit package. So we need one more well for safety. Put it right there. Then we're going to grab more manors. We're going to go manor mad because we do have the materials right now. Wood's a little short, but stone is pretty heavy. So we're going to go ahead and use a bunch up on all this housing. So nice. Now let's get a cottage. Wow, look at all that housing. Pretty crazy. Kind of exciting. Hopefully library coverage is sufficient. If it's not, we'll do something about it. Man, okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, look. Unarmed mini tower. Got to fix that. So, we're going to give it a ballista and an archer. Like a little miniature version of its big brothers. Hopefully they'll get that built before the Vikings show. Totally didn't get that done. We should review all our other defenses. We should go... Oh, look at the snow from here. That's so neat. It's just on the game. That's really cool. Okay, well, we're raising up food storage. I want to see that again. Oh, yeah, look. It's like a snow globe. And you can see all the chimney smokes. Nothing happening here. Some of our harvest was ruined by the winter. We are banging in granaries, but yeah, we'll never defeat that warning. I'm just not good enough at this game. Say we got some baron over here that I don't think is getting forestered, is it? Doesn't seem like it, eh? Does that mean I should try to put a forester in here? Um, let's see what happens. I don't think you can, but I heard foresters can grow on barren land, so it might be that they can actually... No, it has to be near trees. So we've got some land here that ain't doing much. It's almost a candidate for norrigation. Yeah, we could norrigate this area. I could just slap in another windmill. 
crank up these small set of farms that are here. And maybe I could slip in something useful, right? How far away is the nearest charcoal burner? Oh, there's two cranking right there. So. Okay, well, it's to be considered. We also have those rock demolitions to consider. Well, we're going to take it easy here. What's going on with this? It's got the guns on the wrong side. I mean, it shoots them when they're in town, so I guess that's good. But it would be nice if it also shot them when they were out of town. So Let's just raise that by two and put a gun on it. Why not? Oh, more. Alarticates. Mm. Too long to store and they love me. Uh, how's money? It has dropped a little, but we should have a population increase coming in. Pretty fair and square. Happiness is good and we are cranking. We're building as fast and hard as we can. And yeah, let's see if any of these get the shoreline bonus, eh? Doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-poop. Yep. Nice, so that really jacks up their happiness more, too. And hopefully there's enough stuff in the neighborhood. This cottage may end up coming out and going to a road when we get in there. Let's we'll see. So we got all this stone. We just need a little more wood. I don't have any closed foresters, do I? No, but I could forestate out here, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. How's food storage looking in this area? Like, how's that market doing? Good, good. Because I could pull one. Now, uh, there's no nearby stockpile. Bit of an issue. Wood is climbing, too, and we want a city that's in balance. Like, sometimes you need your resources, and you're like, please, mm. make more. But we do want a city that's in balance. However, right now I am a bit hungry for more wood. Um, could maybe get in here. Oh, I think we've got one working in there. Yeah. Ding dang a bishop asha. Mm, anywhere else I could slide one in? Is there one working here? I think there must be, but I don't see it. So let's complete these rock demolitions. That good land. Anyway, let's see if we can get a forester in here. Yep. So he's gonna just work right there amidst some farms. So we're gonna take these other bits of land for farming. And yeah, oh, I just hit escape, so I guess I'm saving. Might as well if I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Man, my tummy's still really upset. <sighs> he wants to raise the taxes all the time. Like, I don't see why we would raise our taxes when we've got enough money. You know, call me crazy, right? But we have enough money to cover our civic expenses, so why would we? Okay, well, next place of peering. Let's just take a look. We did a bunch of peering here. That was pretty cool. I guess getting this internal area back, we'll probably be able to recover a little farmland over there. Oh, do we need a new hospital out here? Do we need another hospital out here? I mean, there are close-by hospitals, but... Uh, kind of wondering music changed. I wonder if that means Vikings are coming. I'm wondering if I should try to make space for one. Mm, well, that would end up being off here. Taking out that cottage and building the road to it. But that's right behind another hospital, actually. Ideally, it would be like in between them all, or maybe over here even. And I could go back over here be like a floating hospital. How far out will my peers go? Let's just find out. So if I took this sector here and turned it into a hospital sector, that's it. Okay, I think we'll turn it into a hospital sector. Yes, I think we'll turn that into an armored hospital of some kind, so out. Make sure we have room. 
So how's this gonna go? The road comes out, punk punk, hospitals here, armor plating all the way around, so all the way to there with the armor. In fact, let's just take it all the way out to there. And call that good. So armor plated hospital outpost coming up. It'll be just an outgrowth of Tristy, because I don't think we'll expand Tristy to its maximal borders. We've got a lot more uh, space to claim still. Ah boy, if we claim a lot of that space, we're going to have to do something about food production. Yes, we are. We're not breaking 7,000 right now, so that ain't so hot. Another dragon. Let's see what kind of fire these guys can pour out, because they're untrained here, eh? Well, down he goes. Thank goodness they don't break roads or kill peasants when they fall. They just break structures, so it's not too disastrous. Armored Hospital Outpost. Alright, well, we could take out this to give them some access to get the road in there, eh? Because the road is coming in there, so... I kind of wish I could build a little garden behind it, out on the piers that we're going to put on it. It'll be fine the way it is. It'll be fine the way it is. And you can't irrigate piers. Okay, so... I don't know where our weakest point is, honestly. What I should do is try to make sure the weakest point is next to the army. That would simplify operations. I wonder how the army will do against Ogros. Hmm. Too long to store and we killed a dragon. Well, I was beefing a little out here. I can continue that project. We're just going to add a gun over here. And some of the internal guns can probably start getting subtracticated, eh? Me thinks. So let's subtracticate this one. And then pop, pop. And we'll farm the remains. Probably a good plan. That forester still got plenty to do, and just getting more farming in all the time. I mean, look at this population we just crammed in, right? And yeah, food is dropping now, of course. So, any farming we can slide in. Like, out behind this hospital, we got room for another one here. Yippers. That one's got a tree growing in it, but yeah, just slide them in where we get a little chances, because... So actually we could take one more chunk off that forester and just leave him with two trees, eh? So let's do that. Oh, and I wonder about this. Well, it is kind of ogre protection. Maybe just not yet. Maybe when we build out further in that area. We do have a bit of bare pier over there that we can use. Oh, well, we're building the Ahmed Hospital complex. That should go up quick enough on speed 3, I hope. Food is still not breaking 7,000, but it doesn't seem like we're in an emergency. At least, so we can chill for the moment. But yeah, that is a bit concerning that it just doesn't quite come up any higher. So I don't think we're at full beds yet. No, we can get another 100 citizens. We could end up running into some trouble that way. It's possible. We'll steal that patch of land right now. Just keep on doing it. Keep on stealing. I think we'll cut this down. Yeah, I think we'll cut that down and we'll steal that land too. Yes, sir, we will. And there may be more. There may be more. There will be more. We'll keep on doing that till we see a more stable food number, essentially. We do know, yeah, food's dropping. I don't like the looks of that. Style, harvest time will come. Harvest time will come. Alright, let's uh, get this stuff in. So, full armor for the whole hospital complex. Complete and total wraparound armor. It should be, like, taller than the hospital. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing now. 
I think I've got it at the right height. I'm going to hope that I did and that it doesn't look all dwarfy when I'm done, eh? Oh, snap! They showed up now! Oh, no, they're attacking my new build, the devils. Oh, the army. Quickly, the army. Sir Genin, uh, I think you're going to head... Uh, well, why don't we just attack the lead boat with Sir Genin? Oh, because he can't. Because he can't. Okay, Sir Genin, come to here. Yeah, we'll bring him in. Wow, they showed. They showed. We are throwing down some fire. We've got a lot of untrained dudes, though, eh? Yeah, we've got a lot of untrained dudes. Oh, they're breaking everything and they're going to get in. Oh, they're smashing everything to bits, the devils. Yeah, these archers are new at their jobs. Those super range ones don't seem to have as super of a range as one might have, like, hoped. Now they're setting things on fire. Sir Genin, where are you, son? Okay, Sir Genin's coming. So, Sir Genin, you will now attack the leader of this Viking band. If I can make it happen here. Yeah, get in and do it. Or actually, maybe Sir Genin should attack the leader of this Viking band. Yeah, that's why you need multiple armies, basically. But he should make pretty short work of those dudes. Chop them down. Okay, we'll leave them to the defenses and attack the next group. Where are they all going to land, though, eh? Where are they all going to land? Are they coming in here? Oh, they're totally in here. I'll get Sir Genin after them. Although I don't think they're going to last. Oh, and they're totally in here. Oh, they're all going to land over here. Oh, Sir Genin, get over here. Yeah, Sir Genin's got to take these dudes out. They're all going to come in this way. Oh, we got plague. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, they're getting taken out. It's a good thing we do have some of these small internal defenses, eh? It's just enough to keep the pressure on them and keep them down. They've set some serious fires, but I think we did well in our placement of uh, things. I don't think Sir Genin's going to get a chance to wreck this guy. It's a big army. He's only lost four soldiers, old Sir Genin. Yeah, Sir Genin, why don't you, like, actually jump that? Like, just get on the boat with them. There we go. That's the end of that boat. Okay, they did some harm. They did some harm, but I think we took them. I think we took him. Mm. Long store, excellent ruler. Viking raiders may be coming. Uh, raiders are gone. Sir Genin back to barracks. We'll leave Sir Genin with their current army strength. Turn them to barracks. They did good work today. And I guess we'll get back to building our armored hospital complex. That was pretty cool. So we'll just knock these things out. And try to put it all back together. What a mess. I really wish I could build little bushes or something, you know. Just a potted plant sort of thing, like a large decorative one that you could put outside the hospital, take up a square. I'd like some of that type of functionality. Okay, so that's there, that's there, that's there. Is that the height? That's the height, so I'm going to have to go that high. Okay, so that's the height. That'd be too high. That's the height. That's the height. That'd be too high. That'd be too high. That'd be too high. Got it. Oh, actually, with the road in, no, we still have two extra squares of space in here, even with the road in. Ah, uh, well, that's just over designed, then, isn't it? We'll bring the road in. And we'll get the hospital in. Provoke. Bunk. And I don't know what we'll put behind it. More guns. Possibly, eh? Whoops, having a little trouble there. Place that in. And then out behind it? Well, I don't know. 
That's a good question, man. Oh, that's a good question. If I had built this a little wider, I could actually bring more road in and put a full granary in, so... Why don't I go ahead and do that? We'll just bring this out. Well, that kind of weirds everything up, but it's okay. Let's bring it out one further. Take out these blocks. Yeah, don't take out the pier. Okay. And then we'll take out this. Leaving a pile of food on the ground, no doubt. But then we'll just bring the road in back here. Yes, Siri Bob. We'll pop the road in back here. Oh, and then the road doesn't really meet the, sp the full granary very nicely, unfortunately. Which leads me to want to build it even wider, but I think that's the limit of my ambition right there. So they're just going to have to have one bloody thing where it doesn't look quite right, okay? Where they have to kind of go around a corner to get in the door. Just one thing. We're not doing anything else at that low quality level, so... Oh, it sucks, though. How it sucks. <laughs> Now I hate it. Now I hate it. Okay, change of plan. Demolish the granary. But then we got wasted space no matter what I freaking do. Right? Like, what do I do? Bring the road all the way... Bring the road all the way and put something behind the hospital. Yeah, done. Okay, Pierce. So we're gonna end up bringing it out to here. I think for the armoring. So then what we're gonna have is the road coming in here like this. And we're gonna throw a cottagio in here and pray for library coverage. I think we'll have it. So we'll throw a cottagio in right here. Look, it's even facing the right way for a change of pace, eh? And then we'll have the granary on this side and armor behind it, so we do need more piers. So Grab that pierce, armor, 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 and then we'll just go armor, 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 armor. And we'll just completely armor this edge of town. Maybe we are going to evolve into an armor town in the end, we'll see. But that seems like a reasonable place to start. We lost a granary for now, but we'll regain it. And I think there's well coverage close enough to make this not such a bad plan. I hope that road links once it's built. Right now it looks a little funny, but we'll see. Oh, and then people need to cross through this. The road isn't good there. There's a cottage that's not working properly there, eh? It's not a big detour, though. I don't think it's slaying them, but if I'm putting a granary in there to serve those farms... It might behooverate me to go ahead and change the way this is set up, basically. So we're going to have to knock this out, knock this out, put in rows. This is crazy. And now it's overroaded, but we're going to put the well back. And, you know, we're going to take the loss on the cottage. We're okay. We're going to take the loss on the cottage. Yeah, 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 it'll be fine. Because we've got another cottage in back here. So it's, you know, we broke even, right? And yeah, they just need to get this junk built for us. Basically, and that'll be awesome. Oh, and this is going to have to come out right now and get an extra castle block up on it right there. And hopefully that'll all work out nicely almost pull that castle block and build something in there. Looking for a bit more housing space. You know, we could leave this guy with just two trees, eh? And snag housing space in here. Right now. And just leave him with two trees. And that really replaces our lost cottage. Right there. Urbanization 
extreme. Oh my god. That's okay. Hey, we got a rock rubble we can pull here, so let's get it. In this tree, rock removal. Pull that out. That gives the forest more space. Unless it happens to be fertile underneath, in which case we're taking it, basically. Great, and if you build these all to the right height, I think they kind of join together properly, too. So that's also awesome. I guess this gun will be coming out as well. Yeah, because we've turbo-changed the way everything's working here. So this gun will be coming out as well. Losing some experienced guys, but it's fine. That can all come down. And then we're going to build the armor up. So the height has to be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. And continuing on that theme. Unless it's too high everywhere and I just hosed it. Oh, now I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Right. Okay. What? What? Uh, help. No. It's too confusing. Two, three. That works for us, and now we're going to get, um, well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in that grenade right here, like that, and we're going to blow down this carefully constructed tower that we loved so much, and steal the space for housing. For sure, we're going to steal it for housing, so spin that around. Oh no, I demolished the pier! Oh, you guys watched me do that. Demolish the pier. Well, I guess we're going to be waiting to use that space, aren't we? That's okay. Let's arm this, shall we? Ah, Tristia is now a dignified kingdom, an immensely strong kingdom that few have achieved before you. Have truly demonstrated great ruling ability, sire, you 300-year-old freak, you. Because after all, I've been the ruler here for, like, dozens of lifetimes. It's a trifle odd. So we're going to have a low archer, and a low archer at the corner, and then we're going to max the tower size and to put a ballista at the corner. That's it. That's the max. That's cool. And we're going to move this archer out, I think. We'll just make these two corners tall. We won't make this tall. We'll move that. Oh, look. Look. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got farmland up in this place. Do we need more wood production? Well, we still have the occasional bit of trees we can use. So. In fact, is that fertile? It is. Chop it down. Let's get some farms in there. Real snappish. I don't know what we'll do with that bit of barren land behind the market. Good place for a charcoal burner. Yeah, it sh certainly is, actually. I think I'll put one in there. Yeah, that seems to work pretty good. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, this now seems like dumb and useless here. It's like eating into this house. Who wants that in their house? So what we need is something more useful for that spot. Or something. Some kind of modification will have to happen there. In the meantime, we're getting these walls up around. It turned out not to be an armored hospital. It turned out to be the first of what looks like what the edges of Tristy are going to look like in the end. Eh? Roads leading to blank, brutal stone walls. Like a tiny prison crossed with a snow globe. And yeah, we'll try the town of Libraria, I guess, for the next city. Tristy's not done yet. we got a ways to go. Um, we have made 2,000 citizens, which is kind of swank. We're just barely hovering on that. Okay, we can get our low archers in here. Oh, yeah, no, they're going to look dumb no matter what happens. They overhang. When it's the narrow castling, they overhang. And it's just, it's dumb, and it's the way it is. So. We'll 
we'll get this one up, 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 get that up. Nice. And I think we'll establish a central archer as well to harass the devils on their way by. So we'll have those two corner towers with Ballista. And once this archer is actually going to stay, everything's going to stay there. That is how it's going to be. We are almost final form on that fortification right now. And sure, hospital's a good idea, right? So we have one big open bay here that they can sail into. It's reasonably well gunned. And we have this really unprotected bit of shoreline out here. Which we might do something interesting in order to protect. What I'm suddenly thinking is that we could bring the road through here, whoop, and we could build an armored bulb. So we are going to do that. We're going to start it with piers. I'm going to pause off. We're going to bring the piers out as far as they go and see how far that is. Because we're... Oh, is that it? Only three from the edge here? Well, it can be hard to build an armored bulb with that size ratio, but we'll manage it, so we'll do is we'll build this. And I guess we don't necessarily even need to bring the road through to do it. We're just going to build it out there in the water to protect the backside of this. And that's how we're going to defend that. So we'll put those in. Uh, too long to start the harvest. Mm. Work is halted because stone's maxed. And wood's a bit dinky. Here's the dragon. Ooh, hello, dragon. Let's go to dragon cam. Scroll in on him, and let's watch what happens. Oh boy, that was some poor shooting, kids. It's amazing how the dragons just phase through walls. But you know, you don't need collision modeling in a game like this. You really don't. Okay, down he comes. He's gonna wreck something. No, he didn't. Nice guy. He's stuck full of arrows. The poor darling. Pure wee dragon, all ruined. I'll ruined with arrows. I'll ruined and pierced. I shouldn't try to do accents. It's really messed up when I do. It's like people scream and hide. Hey, we got a few people who can actually swim while carrying blocks of blocks of stone. They must be kicking their legs like be jazzners, eh? Hey, what's this? It's that cottage space. Cottage time. Cottage time. So nice to have a cottage. It is, too. I sort of live in a cottage. I live in a small wooden house on a small lot in a rural place, and it's pleasant to live in a little cottage. Easy care, you know. Easy care. I don't know what we're doing with this bit of land back here. I mean, I could just jab in a windmill. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we could strip the whole defensive position out, norrigate the area, and farm it. And the way food's going, that might actually be the next project. Mm -hmm. Happy and content, we got him, sir. Yeah, the way food's going, that could well be the next project, I think. So we might rip apart and irrigate this sector of town. It's not highly populated. Well, that's where we're going to start next episode, guys, is trying to fix our food problem. Because I, I would say we actually do have a food problem. We have food tailing down and we may have starvation within a matter of a little while. So we're going to have to better fix that have to better fix it. Um, we can take that well out. Uh, can we? A fire has claimed a farm. Dang. Okay, put the farm back, and we are going to call the episode here for now, folks. I think... We have done a lot today. We've accomplished a lot today. Oh, we've got a ballista tower happening here, so put a ballista on it. Kaplinkity. I haven't built this one yet, though. That's okay. Yeah, okay, guys. We're going to try to fix our food problem next episode. We'll start with this barren little area, and we'll, we'll tear it down and fix it up. 
until that time, hope you had a good time in Tristy here with me today, and we will see you all very soon for the next one. So, bye for now.